although I feel like it's the next day, it's still Tuesday the 8th, September 8th. <coughs> it's a little more than six hours later at uh, 12.44 p.m. That's just a little afternoon. Uh, still within the noon hour, but uh, slightly beyond, as I said. Uh, vlogging in all conditions, in all good, bad, or ugly. And I think this is the ugly stage. <laughs> um, I'm in again an all state because my mind is so pretty much still in dream mode. The dreams I've been having lately, the the, the adventures, if you will, the experiences I've been having, the exploration, have been unusual in that they're brand new. <clears throat> uh, it, it reflecting a new sort of a condition that I'm in, <clears throat> almost on cue for uh, back to school, there's something new to study, there's something new to understand. And these bring in a, 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 a sort of a complexity of and it's an understanding more or less myself. It's, it's, it's a self-examination rather rather than necessarily an examination of others. It's an examination of myself uh, in relationship to how I perceive and how I interact with others or even the environment around me. So it does present, you know, um, things to ponder, things to think about. And this is sort of the state that I'm in, a sort of a very pensive state, a very thoughtful state. Uh, where events kind of play over and over again in my mind in terms of the impression and the emotion that have left. My dreams in many cases are a lot more relaxed than they were before. They are of different substance in many cases. Why I think, why what I'm seeing and experiencing my dreams is still, uh, I, I never really sort of understood. I do have, I understand to a certain degree, but this is something that's brand new. I think a lot of it has to do with even in, in, in the dreams now is it, it brings up as these new dreams come about. It has to do with my sense, my my own sense of worth. The, 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 the uh, Yahweh Vlogs talks about: Are you worth it? We have a sense of our worth. We have a sense of our value, and we call I call it the. We always have a sense of our inadequacies, the things inadequacies, the things we can't do, the things we are behind on or lacking. And so, how do you achieve something you're lacking if you don't know specifically what it is? And, the dreams give you, in some cases, the opportunity to examine your uh, inadequate, your inadequacies, your lack of worth, and sort of figure out well, what, what do you do next? <clears throat> and the thing is, is that in many cases, the worth isn't, isn't necessarily the worth is not necessarily excuse me, is not necessarily the the solution. Sometimes the worth, what you feel you were worth, is actually the problem. In an environment where humility is required and you, are, you, you, you do not command the situation, and you are not supposed to command the situation, how then do you work through the situation if you don't command it? Uh, you do achieve an observational point, but sometimes maybe the point is simply just the observation itself. And at some point later on, you'll, once you have enough observation under your belt, and this is certainly the case here with uh, some of the research that I'm doing, you make no decision or judgment until after you have enough experiences. Then, and only then, do you make a particular judgment or a particular decision. And more often than not, it's going to have disastrous consequences because it's still within your first... <coughs> understandings of it. And this is what sort of puts you back into middle school into sort of that, that, that tween year is that 
the sense of command that most adults have is not there, it's lacking. But you still move forward anyway. In other words, without the worth, without the sense of worth, you move forward. It, 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 it's, it's the whole concept of no refunds. Uh, it's because, because the whole topic of worth doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. While it is cute, uh, Christmas time and a package has come in, I don't know. Every time a, a package comes in, I feel like it's Christmas. <laughs> I do enjoy it. I've enjoyed it since I was a kid. So, here we go. Here's the parcel. Let's pull and see what's out of it. Let's see what's in it. Uh, there we go. These are rear view mirrors. They're for my uh, scooter. They're actually side mirrors. And we'll see how well they work. That's what they're for. They're, they're, they're the side mirrors. They look okay so far. Uh, and uh, I'm still learning how to uh, use the scooter. So uh, it's going to be a process <laughs> before I get on the road. So let's take a look at the side, the side mirrors here. Here we go. And that's it. Well, the editing is definitely they're getting better. It's a 12.30 on September 9th. Uh, this is not the end of the vlog. This is sort of midway through. We started a little late, uh, the vlog today. We started all, everything a little late. Everything was, uh, the schedule was kind of off. It's going to be off again tomorrow. I don't know exactly how, uh, well, it's now, it's midnight uh, on September 9th on, on Wednesday. Later on, at my next time I vlog, it's not going to be tomorrow. It's going to be later on. It'll be about six six hours later. That's not tomorrow, but it feels like it's going to be tomorrow. And this is how the days get off. Uh, I finished my YouTube stroll early, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here because uh, I'm making another batch of uh, tea. Uh, my, uh, the one that I have for, uh, for my milk tea. I'm adding in some dates and some uh, peach gum. So I've added that into it. Uh, it will sit for two, two and a half days to bring up a nice color, another a nice uh, 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 potency. I like my, I like my flavor strong. I don't like things weak. And so that's how I do things, but I, I cut it down with milk, and so it's half tea, half milk. And it provides a good balance. The next tea I'm working on, I'll be working on a bit about a half hour, 45 minutes from now, uh, maybe later. I have to make another batch of yuja chi, yuja cha. Uh, and, and this time again, I'm going to be adding in the peach gum to that. I tried it with the dates. It's good with the dates, but I want to try it. I want to try it with the uh, peach gum, and this yuja cha is going to be uh, include aloe with it. It's going to have an aloe gel in it, so uh, it should be interesting to see how that affects my body. I'll have that for about a month and sort of see if it if it has a, a better impact on my body than the current yuja cha. The, the current yuja, yuja cha, which is basically a citron uh, with date infused. Uh, so it's a date infused uh, citron. Uh, does an amazing job with my body. Picks up my eyes. It, picks, it, it, it fixes a lot of things up. It makes my intestines a lot smoother. Uh, <laughs> talking about flattening the curve. This has nothing to do with chronic gas and the, uh, the gas panic of the, the great fart panic of 2020. This has to do with flattening the curve. Is talking about my stomach. <laughs> And usually there's a bulge there. The since I've been having the tea, uh, the yuja chi, yuja tea, the bulge is now gone. Uh, things have flattened out, so to speak. Uh, the the front view, like like this, isn't a problem. It's the side view. A lot of times that's where where a lot of problematic uh, in terms of your body shape. The uh, the problematic areas come when you take a look at the side view. 
and you see this sort of uh, bulge there uh, from the side, and uh, this is where you want to get in, the, get in there and start flattening the curve. That you want to flatten that particular curve uh, to a more uh, a toned uh, fashion. And this is good for the health. It's good for your cholesterol. It's good for uh, well, if a lot of heavier people. It, it, it once they, they get out of shape. It affects their knees it, 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 because the the weight of the body is too much for the knees. It's bad on the feet. It's bad on the back. So, a number of health issues if you're not careful with your weight. And I'm not talking necessarily about uh, the, the the actual poundage. It's the amount of excess, uh, let's say, fat in the system. Uh, and this is what I, I said. I said a large chunk of my issue. Was this buildup along the along the uh, intestinal lining of stuff that just didn't come out, it just stuck to the walls of the intestines? And what the tea did that I have, the milk tea did, it began cleaning everything out. It, it started cleaning everything out, and that's what I noticed when I got when I got sick, when I had the uh, food poisoning, that the tea was really helped cleaning out the system. It was, it was sort of clearing everything out. Uh, when I added in the yuja chi, yuja cha. It did an even better job. It, it sort of, really sort of, the the, the, the milk tea uh, did an amazing job, but the yuja cha did an even better job. It, it, it sort of uh, cleaned up some of the, it smoothed up some of the uh, uh, ends left behind by the milk tea. And it's got more than enough nutrients in there so that it actually does replace the meal. So if you're doing a liquid diet, you can actually use both teas to replace uh, whole meals so because you get you get enough nutrients from each glass that uh, that uh, well I have th 32 ounces so uh, you get enough nutrients that it, it's more than enough in terms of a meal so right now uh, I just did some work on the browser I have it, it, the browser is working well enough even in the media room uh, research desk that I was able to finish the entire YouTube stroll today, uh, just in this uh, in, a, in a couple hours, in about two hours, I was able to do the whole thing. So now I'm going to fix it up a little bit more, but I got to wait to sort of see what's happening with the gaming. Uh, I have to we'll check it again because it's supposed to be done by now. The server should be active, uh, but I have to go in and check and see to see if the server is active or not. This was a shorter wait time. Uh, turn the uh, camera on, uh, start recording, and no shaking. Got it just right. Anyways, it's just a few hours later. It's, uh, I believe, the 9th of September. Yeah, September 9th. Uh, Wednesday at 4 52 a.m. It's about. Uh, uh, couple hours later I ended up finishing round two 230 and uh, was here around four to do some gaming did some meditation uh, did some work on my observation uh, uh, on my um, the uh, observational work in terms of the atmospheric physics oh. I added in some new elements that I didn't have, but the, it's going to take me a year to build up enough enough of the sequence before I start having a better understanding of what's actually happening. So uh, it's going to be a long slog. Every day I have to, to bring in a certain amount of information, just store it, and then every so much compile it into basically a movie. You, you do it frame by frame, so this is going to be month by month. Uh, of taking all the data that I have uh, that I've collected on a daily basis and adding it all together to produce a movie and it'll be inter interesting to see what the image actually shows so um, gonna be an interesting project hopefully I'll be able to match it up with some of the other understandings that I have uh, with the uh, atmospheric physics 
But this is how the product started. Well, this, this, I'm already now in back to school mode. This is how I do my classes. This is basically one of my main classrooms here. I will be filming uh, in back how I do some of my work. Uh, I was watching uh, Sherry Frankie uh, from Ink Passenger. She's got her own channel. And she's back to school and she's doing, uh, in her vlogs, uh, she's doing what she does in terms of her school and how she does her homework, what types of subjects she has. and She is one of those uh, girls who are, let's say, geeky or nerdy. But that, that's, it, 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 it's not, an, I don't consider it a, a negative. It isn't sort of, it, 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 how you approach things. Uh, but the thing is, is my, my other sense that's going on right now is still back in the altered states again. Uh, where the dreams haven't stopped. I'm, I'm awake, but my, my mind is still going on some of the dreams I've been having. Ugh. And it's not that, that, you, that you're, I mean, some of your, con your thoughts are conscious, some of the things you think about are conscious. But there are some thoughts that are not not, not necessarily that you bring. You don't not excuse me. You're not necessarily bringing these thoughts into your mind on a more uh, a sort of a deliberate method in a deliberate in a deliberate manner. In other words, these are thoughts that kind of pop into your mind, whether you're necessarily thinking about it or not. And this is sort of what happens with some of the dreams, some of the aspects of the dreams that I've been having, uh, even though I'm awake now, start popping into uh, my wake state. So I have a sleep state where I'm aware, and now I have a wake, and I have a wake state where I'm aware. What happens? Some of the, the the thoughts and ideas that occur in the feelings and emotions that I have while in my sleep state come up and pop into the wake state. This is what produces the altered state. So I'm aware of both both states of existence, if you will. And this is it's a, it, it, it was, I'm an explorer. So this isn't a, necessarily for me a bad thing because now I have something new to explore, so to speak. Because uh, as I said before, before I would have dreams that often repeat themselves. It's in when I'm in these continuous altered states, and this is what's happening in uh, the uh, and this happens in the back to school period. I've had these since I was a kid. Every time I was back to school, the altered states would start to appear on a more frequent basis, and I'd stay like that for uh, basically September, October, and sometimes into November. And it just to be sure, it, it's just these emotions, these feelings, some and. A large chunk of this stuff is, is what comes from my dreams, and it pops into uh, my wake state. So what, what happens? While I'm awake, I'm, I'm remembering what I dreamt and feeling all the emotions with it. But even though while I'm asleep, some of the stuff that comes in from, from the daytime, from my wake state, comes into the dream. So there, in other words, there's a continuity between the, the sleep state and the wake state. But that's as much as you can some more or less. Uh, sort of surmise because the rest of it becomes very complex and it could, it could take you years before you really sort of figure one thing out or another. In other words, uh, there is a, a bit of uh, mundane and routine within the sleep state that occurs that, that once you start to become used to it, then it has its sort of, well, I guess, the, uh, not really a tedium, but it's sort of it's it's a routine that you become used to, and so it doesn't necessarily. And again, this is the state of existence for myself, anyway. Other people have, will find their own path into their existence and have their own awareness of of existence. Other people have no awareness of their existence. They simply live. They, they they move from point to point to point to point, without necessarily being aware of anything. And all these people aren't necessarily very happy because uh, they said, "Well, well my, my whole life is empty. I've been going after this, 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 and this. You know, I've chased all these dreams, but 
every time I traced a dream, it's always been empty. Well, why is that? Well, because maybe you weren't aware, you didn't take the time to be aware. If you're always trying to achieve things, in other words, you want to, your goal is to always have that expectation there. Then at no point in time are you ever appreciating what you receive and what you have in the immediate. And if you don't, you don't appreciate what you have in the immediate, then nothing that comes in will ever fill that void.